Hey guys, so I have an awesome DIY for you, and that is DIY henna. And we all know that henna has been trending everywhere. It's really tumblery, traditional, and super cute. And if you know me, you know that I love anything like henna designy. Like I draw it all over the place, especially with sharpies too. But this time, it's the actual thing. So let's get into that. So the materials you'll need are a bowl, preferably a clear one, some henna powder, lemons, an essential oil, sugar, salt, some plastic measuring things, a plastic bag, and plastic wrap. So starting off, pour 1 4th cups of henna powder into your bowl. Now before we start, I just wanted to get things straight. So with your henna powder, make sure that it's like a nice green khaki-ish color. If it's too neon or too dark, that means dyes are added in and that will not be safe. So make sure you got the right henna powder. Now with your lemon, squeeze it out until you have 1 4th cups of lemon juice and pour that into your henna mixture. And mix. Now add one and a half teaspoons of sugar, a couple drops of your essential oil, I used eucalyptus oil, and you can also add one teaspoon of olive oil to make it a more awesome consistency, but that's up to you. You can also add a pinch of salt and that kind of helps to darken the color. Now what I also did was I took some Turkish coffee that I had in my pantry and if you ever try Turkish coffee, it's actually really good. And I boiled that in some water and added 1-2 to two teaspoons of that into the mixture. You can also use tea water if you want, but basically what it does is it makes the mixture darker. Now mix it until you have a consistency like so. With your plastic wrap, put it over the bowl and press it down until it touches your henna paste to make sure that there are no air pockets or air bubbles. Now put it in a warm place that's around 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to show you how to make some DIY henna cones or basically anything to put your henna in so that you comply. So for the first way, you will need a large plastic bag, tape, and a pair of scissors. So first, open up your plastic bag and cut along one side of it and then cut along the bottom. Next, cut off the zipper line. And now you should have like this whole sheet of plastic. Now hopefully you can see this. What you're going to do is you're going to fold over one corner. And then holding the tip down, start rolling it over like so. And this does take a bit of practice. It took me a little while to get it. But basically keep rolling until you get this like kind of cone shaped thing and make sure that you're holding onto the tip to get that small little hole. Once that's done, cut off the excess you have left. And for some reason, it didn't show me taping the tip, but yes, you have the tape. You have to tip the tape. Duh. You have to tape the tip and everywhere along the whole cone to make sure that it's nice and secure and no henna leaks out. And there you go. Now for the second way, you will need a small plastic bag and a pair of scissors. So this is pretty self-explanatory, you're just going to cut the most tiniest, minuscule hole ever in the corner, and that's it. Now what you can also do is you can order these henna applicator bottles, and these things are really handy, you don't have to worry about any henna leakage or anything, and they're pretty cheap to get on either eBay or Amazon. I'll leave some links down below, and you could use that, and it makes the most intricate and cutest designs ever, so yeah. Now your henna should be ready to go and how you could tell is that the dye should be released. My camera is not showing that but you could tell when the dye is released. I left mine for about 20-ish hours so around 60 to 24 hours should be good. Now remove the plastic wrap and mix it together and it should look something like this. Now with either your corn or your plastic bag or you could use both, start putting in your henna paste into it. Now tips on how to apply it, make sure that you have some nice washed hands with no moisturizer or anything on. And before starting off, just test out your henna and just apply it onto a tissue or anything and just practice with it basically. 
And on Pinterest, just search up some henna designs if you want to get an idea of what you want. And also, follow me on Pinterest, just Miss Crafty. It would be awesome if you do. Plus, you get like a kind of sneak peek of what I'm going to do if you follow me on Pinterest, if you haven't noticed. And basically, when you're playing henna, it's kind of just like drawing. And it does take a bit practice. It's not like, oh, you just create the design and voila. It does take a bit practice. But either way, it's fun in general. So once your design is ready, you could just leave it on for quite a while, and if it starts cracking, that's actually a good thing. But once it's on for quite a while, you're going to wash it off, but not with soap, and then you'll have a really nice, pretty stained henna design. And if you want it to stain darker, you could add maybe a bit more salt to your paste, or coffee or tea water, maybe less essential oils, and keep it on for maybe like a seriously long time, like maybe overnight. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed, and tell me down in the comments how yours turned out and if you have any questions and tell me what you think of henna designs and which kinds are your favorite and give this video a thumbsy uppy because thumbsy uppies are awesome and if you give it a thumbs up i will make a diy white henna video as well and show me your henna recreations on instagram and twitter using the hashtag miss and that's it love you guys so much toodles